Loh, loh, loh. Tempat, tempat kafe sekali. From the size of this campsite, it doesn't look like they can hold a big gathering here. The broken tree... Shh. Let's lay low. Let's not step on those bushes. Try not to make any noise. How did it go? <laughs> You're so smart, boss. That Jingle Beast rumor really did the trick. So they're really here? Shh, keep quiet. Do you see these bushes? These bushes are not supposed to grow so well on exposed ground. Must be planted on purpose. There might be traps hiding underneath. Let's stay put and listen to what they're saying. Oh, about that new guy? He's been getting things down quickly. I'll give him that. He's too nosy. Can't shut up about the Jingle Beast. Let him go find the beast if he's so eager. And then we'll handle him ourselves. Boss, I heard this guy we're dealing with is tough. He probably won't believe in the Jingle Beast rumor. Let's see how he feels after we rough him up in the dark. You get it now? Brilliant plan, boss. You're relentless. <laughs> Watch and learn, kid. You're just a pup. You don't know what really scares people. But I'll come with you this time. All right, everyone. Let's go. Grab your stuff. Phew. Are they gone? No. Wait, they're still near. I can still hear them breathing. They're on high alert. But they're still inexperienced by beast standards. Okay, now they've gone farther away. Let's go check it out. This is... this is my brother's device. How could this be? Is my brother really working for those bad guys? Beishi, what kind of person is he? He's shy and careful, but not sneaky. He may be timid, but he really loves me. Beishi, sometimes... We can't trust what we hear or see. We have to use our hearts and logic to uncover the real truth. It's not always obvious. Thank you. I see. Rover, you found anything else?
It's just the tusk of an adult saber boar. It's indeed larger than usual, but they might be using this to make people believe the Jingle Beast is real. They're not just spreading rumors. They are also selling spoiled meat. Ugh, it pisses me off too. The top priority now is to find clues about Beiji's whereabouts. Now we have another problem. We have to keep tabs on the savages to see what they're planning. According to what we just heard, their next victim is about to show up. Sounds good. The savages are super alert, but I know the wilderness better than them. I can track them down. She'll be safer with you by her side. If anything happens, I'll call you. Thank you, Rover. You take care of yourself, too. This thing may still be working. My brother could have left me a message. Hmm. Ah! There is a message! Sorry, Beishi. I stood between you and your dreams. Perhaps you were right. Your brother is just a selfish coward. I don't dream of your forgiveness. But still, I want to do something for you. Farewell, Beishi. I'll kill the Jingle Beast for you. It's my brother. It's probably because I joined the Pioneer Association. My brother was really against my decision. But that was my childhood dream. So we had a big fight. I... I don't know. He never told me anything about it. <laughs> no. It must be the Jingle Beast. I know. I know that sound too well. A while ago, when I was on a mission in the wilderness, I got ambushed by tacit discords. As I struggled to escape, I heard the sound of a bell ringing in the distance. I... I can't remember. I was so scared, my mind went completely blank. After hearing the bell, I... I just kept running without looking back. That bell kept chasing me and only disappeared when I reached a safer place. If I hadn't made it, perhaps I would have been eaten by the Jingle Beast. So yes, this must be the Jingle Beast again. All right, let's go. Come forth. Transmitting 
same frequency. Disperse. The hour is upon us. Rover! Wow! It's only been minutes since I sent you the signal. Didn't expect you to arrive so soon. While I was tailing the savages, I overheard them talking about where Beiji went. A loud bell ringing? I think I heard something like that, but... Let's stick with the Beiji thing. Do you remember what we overheard at the campsite? They mentioned a newbie who was obsessed with the Jingle Beast. And just now, they sent him to some deep cave. I'm sure I did hear the bell ringing. So the Jingle Beast is probably hiding in here too. Well, given how big it is, I don't think it could fit inside a cave like this. What do you say? I do smell danger from this cave though. Based on what we've gathered so far, the newbie, probably Beiji, is in danger. We need to act fast. Rover, I've always known how strong you are. I probably shouldn't be asking you for more help, but Beiji is in danger, the situation's looking dire, and we need your aid. Could you please help us rescue him? Your help would mean everything to me. Of course, you have my word. I... I'm going with you. My brother's in there. I want to find him as soon as possible. Beishi, I understand how much you want to find your brother. But it's really dark inside. And we've got no idea what could be hiding in there. We'll be stretched thin just watching each other's backs. Besides, I have a more important thing for you to do. I need you to go back to the city as fast as you can. Let patrollers know what happened today and request their help. But I don't want to run away from danger anymore. Beishi, as an explorer of the Pioneer Association, I trust you understand. A seasoned explorer knows how to make sound decisions in the moment. And sometimes, choosing to retreat doesn't mean we are weak. Please trust Rover and me. We promise to bring your brother back safely. Yes, I will. Please help him. And please stay safe, you two. No worries. We'll bring him back. <sighs> Let's do this another way. I sense your weakness. One with the sounds. Rejuvenating snow. Fury boils. Inferno. Break. Burn to ashes. Quark. Burn.
This place, it's full of different smells. Plants, beasts, tacit discords, and humans. I'm pretty good at pathfinding. Look, I bet Bei Ji dropped this. From what Bei Shi described, Bei Ji doesn't sound like someone brave enough to come here alone. But why does he have this bizarre obsession with the Jingle Beast? I guess this is the only way ahead. Let's keep going. Tricky and narrow here. Tacit discords could be hiding. Let's be careful as we move on. Let's play hide and seek. Looks like one just appeared. I'll handle it. Stay back. Already. Here, I'll break this rock. <laughs> Watch out. There's thorns up ahead. Let's jump over. glowing plants up in the cave they help us find our way in the dark pretty handy right but be careful our enemies can also use these lights to locate us and set up an ambush so we can't stay too long in the light whoa this guy is completely blocking our way it's not too difficult to fight against but it's a total wrecking ball. If we fight it, oh, and it, the scent is coming from below. Huh?
here look so funny. They kind of resemble the plum blossom poles we use in lion dancing. How about this? Kick, kick, slide, twirl, and climb. Oops, sorry. I always recite this as I hop on the poles. I got carried away and set it out. Hmm, so many thorns here. One prick from these thorns hurts more than a fall. Let's glide over them. The Noctiment smells near. Let's go and have a look. That's it! The Noctiment we're looking for. Now we can safely distract that spear back. Watch out! More tacit discords! <laughs> Drum beat strong! Ill fortune gone! <laughs> this way. No stopping good luck once it's on your side. Phew. Been a while since I last swam. This feels so good. Wow. I didn't expect the inside of this cave to look like this. This is so beautiful. This plant only grows in dark places, and I haven't seen it in a long time. I miss it a little. Let's keep moving. Where'd you think you're running to, brat? Didn't expect you to make it this far. Shame these monsters didn't get you yet. Oh well, at least we'll get to claim your sorry corpse later. I... I'm not afraid of you. I know all the dirty things you've done. I... I I've already sent out proof against you. Even if you kill me, 
It won't change the truth. There are still brave people out there. They will stand up to you. I know they will. I knew it. Beiji wasn't working with them. Oh, our prey is finally here. Who are you? Run! Run while you can! They're targeting me! Run? Don't even think about it. You think you were smooth? We saw you spying and creeping up on us. We just played dumb to lure you in. And now we gotcha. Time to pay for your sneaky ways. Boss, you're the best. Surrender now, and you may die in one piece. Why would you choose to live like a beast when you could be a human? If you call yourselves beasts, then you should know. Every beast has its own hunting game. Sometimes, a beast pretends to be weak, to give their prey a false sense of security. Make them assume they're the hunters. What? I haven't been this angry in a while. Rover, we'll show them no mercy. Since you've chosen to act like beasts, I'll handle you the... Starts wagging real fast. So what? Uh, but his tail's wagging like crazy now. <sighs> I haven't revealed my true strength yet. Wow, you're so strong. <laughs> you don't stand a chance against me in the wilderness. Submit while you can. Or would you prefer getting torn to shreds? You startled those things away. Boss, well, what do we do now? Well, uh... We're fighting them? We're running, of course. What? Wait, wait, boss! Rover, watch out! Rover, 
Sorry I let you see this side of me. Please keep it a secret between the two of us. I'm alive! Thank you for saving me. Oh, and, uh, sorry, but, uh, who are you? My sister? Peishi? She's been worried about me. Is she doing okay? That's good to hear. Thank you. I didn't expect she would. I'm sorry. Sorry I made you worry too. Yeah. I guess you've already heard some of it from her. Our parents were both members of the Pioneer Association. They were famous explorers until we lost them to an accident. We've been struggling to survive since then. I did many part-time jobs to make ends meet, trying to take care of my sister. But Beishi, she said she wanted to join the Pioneer Association and fulfill our parents' unfinished ambitions. She's the last family I have. I was really scared I'd lose her too. I tried to ban her from joining the Pioneer Association. We got into a huge fight. We haven't really talked to each other ever since. But to be honest, when she was accepted to join the association, I was really happy for her. Unlike me, she is brave, positive, and always willing to try new things. As her brother, I'm happy she'll get to see a bigger world. Looking back on it, I was holding her back from pursuing her dreams. Yes. I shouldn't have tried to make the decision for her. It's too dangerous here. Let's get out first. Your sister's been worried about you. 